Feeling pain in the body is a more complicated subject than we think. Gout is a syndrome characterized by repeated episodes of joint pain and inflammation. This increase as a consequence of the deposition of crystals of uric acid in the joints, especially in the lower parts of the body. Inevitably, this deposition of uric acid crystals is a consequence of hyperuricemia or high levels of uric acid in the blood. Men are three times more likely than women to develop gout. In an online post from Healthline.com, it states that most men are diagnosed between 30 and 50 years of age. In women, the disease is most prevalent after menopause. Someone with gout would probably wish that he would have always been a kid because gout is rare in children and younger adults. So what really happens when uric acid increases in the body? Increased levels of uric acid from excess purines may accumulate in your tissues and form crystals. This may cause high uric acid levels in the blood. Problems such as kidney stones and gout, which is the collection of uric acid crystals in the joints, especially in your toes and fingers, may occur. But how does excess uric acid really affect our body? Uric acid is a waste product that comes from the breakdown of some substances called purines which are normally found in small amounts of urine. If there is an excess of urine acid in the body, it can accumulate in various parts of the body such as joints, kidneys, or soft tissues. If it accumulates in your joints, especially in the synovial fluid, the formation of uric acid crystals occurs, which are responsible for inflammation or swelling. The spots that are most frequently affected by this type of arthritis are the lower parts of the body, such as ankles and knees. But wait, it also attacks the hands and wrists. However, hyperuricemia can be corrected. The deposits slowly dissolve until they disappear, which is why it is considered a reversible disease. To understand us perfectly, we listed down 8 gout-causing foods that you should limit within your diet so as not to develop the disease. Watch till the end of this video to know what foods to avoid and additional tip on some homemade recipes that control the level of uric acid in your body. But before that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our helpful videos like this one. Number 8 Alcoholic drinks With regard to alcoholic beverages in general, the consumption of those more alcoholic strength such as gin, whiskey, brandy or vodka and among some others with high alcohol content are not advisable. As for the wine, different investigations have shown that there are various effects on the body depending on the wine that is drunk, although there is a broad consensus that the best wine that can be taken when uric acid is present is red wine because it contains the lower level of purines although it depends a lot on its production. Number 7. Sugary Soft Drinks Who knew that our most faithful product of our afternoons would develop gout? In addition to food, if you have high uric acid, it is essential that you always review the drinks you are ingesting. Mostly, sugary drinks are not recommended since sugar competes with uric acid when it is expelled from the body. Avoid carbonated soft drinks and juices that you have not squeezed in your home since those are sold in the food industry and contain high levels of sugar that will surely harm your body. Number 6. Legumes Although we have never thought about it in our plant world, purines also have their place. Yes, just as you listen to it. Lentils, beans, and chickpeas all have high content of this substance. However, the concentration of purines in legumes is well below that of other foods such as canned fish, organ meats, and red meat. But if there is a high uric acid in the body, the ideal is to make safe limitations. Number 5. Vegetables also among vegetables, it is always advisable to restrict the intake of certain vegetables such as cauliflower, asparagus, mushrooms, spinach, and chard, which when consumed in exaggerated ways could quickly contribute to develop from gout syndrome in the body. 
So what do you think about our tips so far? Make sure to pay attention and stay till the end of this video so you won't miss other foods you should consider avoiding. Number 4. Seafood One of the best known sources of purines is seafood. Excluding it from the diet or at least reducing it to its minimum expression is essential to keep uric acid at bay and prevent the development of this syndrome. Among those that contain the most purines are shrimp, lobster, prawns, crab, mussels, clams, oysters, and scallops. As you see, these foods, although we have always considered them sources of essential vitamins, it is good to consider now reducing them a little from our diet to maintain the correct balance of uric acid in the body. Number 3. Red meats. Difficult to avoid in our diet. Yes, we know. But very important to consider it. Meat and especially viscera is one of those foods whose consumption is associated with purines and excess uric acid. It is important to avoid eating liver, kidneys, or heart. It doesn't matter if they are chicken or beef, all the viscera have significant amount of purines that could affect our body when developing this syndrome. Number 2. Bluefish Another most important sources of purines are found in blue or fatty fish. Some of the most purine contain are sardines, tuna, or salmon. By eliminating these foods from your diet, try to compensate for their absence with others rich in healthy fats such as avocado, walnuts, or extra virgin olive oil. Number 1. Sausages Tired of joint pain? So you should stop being a fan of sausages now. Sausages, chorizo, butifaras, by the way, it is a type of sausage and one of the most important dishes of the Catalan. These are other examples of foods to avoid if you have uric acid on the rice. And in any case, it is always good to handle this product moderately in your diet, given its high content of saturated fat or low nutritional value. Ideally, go for much healthier options like turkey, ham, or chicken. The gout diet can help reduce uric acid levels in the blood. The gout diet does not cure the disease. However, it can reduce the risk of recurring and painful gout attacks and may reduce the progression of joint damage. People who suffer from this disease and follow a diet for gout also need to take medications to control and reduce uric acid levels. The gout diet is designed to help you get a healthy weight and good eating habits. Avoid some foods with purine and include some foods that control uric acid levels. The gold rule is to always eat moderate portions of healthy food. So why stay in constant joint pain if you can consume homemade recipes with ideal foods to decrease uric acid in your body? An excellent home remedy for uric acid is a combined juice for beets, carrots, cucumbers, and watercress. The ingredients of this juice have properties that helps eliminate excess of this substance in the body and can be an excellent therapeutic complement for gout syndrome. Another home remedy for uric acid is nettle tea. It has an anti-inflammatory effect that stimulates circulations and minimizes swelling in the region. And finally, we recommend arnica ointment, which is excellent for relieving joint pain or pain caused by a contusion or bruises due to its anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties. Do you know any home remedies other than those mentioned in the list? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, like and share it with your family and friends. And remember, knowledge has no value unless you use it and share it. Please subscribe to this channel and be the first to receive our notification when we upload the next video about how to reduce your body heat, especially during summertime.